Hey, what's up, guys? This is Isaacs. Um, my video is a little bit late. It's supposed to have been out on Thursday. Today it is now Friday, so I'm a day late I'm trying to get it done before it turns Saturday. So I can at least try to keep it as close as I can to the day it was actually due. Um, as y'all know, I'm in Houston, I'm in Texas, and the last video I actually posted was like the like a day or so after it happened here, um, Hurricane Harvey. And uh, I know some of y'all have been seeing, the, seeing it on the news. I'm not sure if it's showing everywhere, but I do know here it's been like a round the clock thing. And basically it's just like trying to distract myself and give myself a break from seeing all the stuff that's going on right now in our city. And it's, it's upsetting, man, just like knowing so many people are struggling, so many people were involved in this, so many people have lost everything, so many people lost some stuff, you know, everyone was affected by it, and we're a big city, we're the fourth biggest city, and to take that hit, it's crazy, but I don't really want to make this video about that, because I made the last one about that, I went completely off topic and talked about that, but that's kind of the reason why this video is late because just dealing with that still um, I, I was fortunate enough my place didn't get flooded but I did get stuck at my mom's house her house flooded it took like a good foot in her house is up six feet and it still took a foot in uh, my brother's house he didn't get water inside but it stopped right before it went in there and that's because his house is higher than hers um, they took damage to their roofs and I have friends that lost everything so but as far as the topic today um, is coping with friends and family and disappointments with it so just to touch base real quick like with the hurricane that I just mentioned um, my mom doesn't know I legally changed my name but she knows that things changed um, She's not very accepting, so she just doesn't know yet. I haven't broken that news to her quite yet. Uh, my brother's aware, but dealing with having to be around people with my family in that type of situation um, leads to what outsiders see me as versus what my mom and my brother see me as. Uh, my brother's starting to come around to it and understanding that everyone else sees me as male. But my mom doesn't see that. And she corrects people when they call me he or whatever. And she goes back to saying my birth name. So that kind of got to me during that. Because it's like shit, you just undid how far I've progressed in my transition. And are telling people this and that. And basically like outing me in a way are confusing the hell out of other people that are outsiders, you know? So, that's one disappointment I have with it, is just the fact that my family is the way they are. And even though my brother knows that I do everything well, he still calls me his sister. Or still uses girl terms around people, and that, that really does bother me, it gets to me, because I wish he would, like, correct himself and realize that Dude, I'm not your sister anymore. But I do give him this today. He did. He got asked if I was his brother, and he said yes. So that's some progress, but it's not a consistent thing with him. It's like every once in a while he realizes that this is how they're seeing me, and then he'll say yeah, you know. But he kind of like gives a little, takes a little back because he'll take it back. Um, like after they say that, he'll be like walking off to the side and go, oh, my sister this, and, you know. So that's, that's some disappointment I have. As far as with my friends, my friends are really supportive. Um, I was fortunate enough with that, that I have supportive friends and those are like my extended family. Um, I do have a few people that I lost friendships with due to my transition. And I told myself early on when I decided to start hormones that if they couldn't accept me and they wouldn't even try to accept me, I didn't need them in my life. Um, I've done away with like a good handful or so of friends that I had 
for years and years that just couldn't come to terms with it or refused to come to terms with it or still try to call me my old name even though they legally know that everything has changed you know so that's uh, those are like the things that I have my disappointment with um, that really bothers me still to this day and I think it's gonna be like that for a while especially with my family um, except I do have some family that's finally coming around that are like barely knowing now that I'm transitioning just because I pulled away from everybody and they haven't questioned it so I mean that's an upside um, they haven't asked and they know that my name is different on Facebook it's my new legal name basically what I changed it to and they haven't questioned why it's that on there so and I just hit my three-year marker last week so I posted a video of my transition and how I progressed in these three years because I used to do weekly vlogs where I had little changes going on and I kind of like skipped little pieces so if I had one video I took a piece of it from like week one and then took a chunk out of like week six and I was just throwing little bits and pieces in this video that I made for my three-year marker and I posted that so what my family newly being on my Facebook as of like my brother's wedding, which was only like a month or two ago, um, I think I think their questions, if they had any, were answered with that video if they watched it. So, I mean, on my Facebook, I'm very open and talk about a lot of things and issues and trans stuff, and so I'm very vocal about it. So I'm pretty sure they know what's going on now if they didn't before. Um, I updated my name with work like two weeks ago because I hadn't just because I hadn't done my social and then I did it and then I waited a little while so that I could match my debit card I just didn't have time to get into my bank to get it done because you have to go on business hours and my hours are just like so over the place all the time so I finally had time to do it and I updated everything at work a couple weeks ago and I've been at my job 10 years so these people have known me 10 years since I was in my early 20s. Um, the accountant is really religious, <laughs> she's a real Christian. And my coworker told me that she like started shaking when she saw that my files had to be updated. But it's not like I hid my transition. I mean, I have a beard, you know. Um, it's been three years that they've been seeing the changes. It's only a matter of time till the name happened. And on top of that, my old administrator that was there a couple of years back had already kind of told the owners about the name I was already using, which is what I legally changed it to. So they didn't even like question how to pronounce it because a lot of people always question how to pronounce my name because it's spelled I-Z-I-X, which is just Isaacs. But they already knew how to pronounce it, so they were well aware of it because a lot of people question how to spell it. I get it, Isix, <laughs> and Iz. I get all types of stuff on pronunciation, but yeah. So I don't understand why she took it so hard, but she took it pretty hard. Um, so, I mean, I'm just rolling with the punches, and I'm glad that everything's finally updated. I got my school stuff updated. Only person that's really pretty much left to tell is my mom about the whole legal thing um, but I'm giving it some time because she just had back surgery not too long ago I wanted to heal up before I hit her with that so yeah guys I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up though and see y'all next week